Hey, guess who I have here? This is Rob Moffat. He is the illustrator, the one that did this glorious book cover for the Art, the Rain, the Fire Cloud. I'm so glad you're here. I'm glad to be here. And we are at Lifeway. Yes, we are. For a book signing. And the flocks are just, you know, getting flocking. ready to... Flocking. The flocks are flocking. <laughs> anyway, so let's talk about how did you come up with this book cover? Uh, well, it was a collaborative effort between you and I. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Tell us what happened. Well, we sat in your um, kitchen, living room, mm -hmm. somewhere, mm -hmm. and, <clears throat> and we talked about your vision for for what this this book was about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as you were talking, it popped in my, into my mind what exactly the cover would look like. Mm -hmm. So I sat and sketched a little tiny thumbnail image mm -hmm. of what it could look like, and then from there it kind of blossomed into this cover with um, lifelike characters and um, a great story. <laughs> See? Yeah. And he just really brought Max and Liz to life and, um, and, and the whole fire cloud thing. That was a fun adventure. Yeah. A collaborative effort of back and uh, forth. Don't flip it this way. No, do this. <laughs> Don't do more fun. So... But it's a lot more of cloud, cloud. And, it's, more cloud. and it's stellar. <laughs> and then he also did not just the cover, but he did the inside illustrations. So, how did you? There's one. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us how you got inspired with, with these. Well, these came these came later in the um, the process of, of creating the book, and um, so as as Jenny would tell me what. The, the, the chapter was about, or the, the section, I would kind of think about, you know, what was the most important thing to portray, and, and I would talk with Jenny about uh, what she wanted to, to be the, the main issue, and so I would just kind of illustrate what we, we talked about, uh, like for the, the third section, it was I love all this. about... I love this. Tell, yeah, tell them about this. It was right all here. about Adam uh, creating cave paintings. Mm -hmm. uh, so this was uh, just like to keep a record when yeah. he named them that he he kind of made a um, like a, a glossary of animals, if you will, so he could remember what they were, and so he he kind of painted them in a cave to remember. And in the story, uh, Noah's grandfather, um, no, actually his father, who was alive, uh, Lamech, who was alive when Adam was alive, took him to this cave so he could see these animals. And what I loved was. There's a little Scotty and a cat that, that <laughs> brought you in there, and I just love that. But it was a great way to portray um, portray that. And then got a couple more here. Uh, did I miss one? Yeah. The uh, I always look for the the longer dark spots. Oh. Oh, there. Oh, this one I love. This is William Frog. This is Rob's portrayal of him on Talent Night. And you just nailed him. You just captured the drama of him singing, okay. you know, <laughs> reciting prose, water, water, everywhere. And then we have one more, I think. Yep, right here. One more. You know right where it is. And isn't that beautiful? The animals leaving the ark. So, you did a fabulous job. Now tell me about what you're doing for the cover for book two. Dos. Yeah. Well, uh, it's set in Egypt. So we have pyramids and sphinxes and um, we have Egyptian gods. Anubis. Anubis. Um, the bad guy. Yeah, a very ominous yes. uh, looking character. And then um, we have Max and Liz on the cover. Mm -hmm. And a new character. Yes. Nigel P. Monaco is a British mouse who's come to save the day with his Egyptology, archaeology acumen. So, yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be a ton of fun, and you think this cover is fabulous? Wow! Book two. Just wait till you see it. We're going to have it up on the web soon. So, so Rob, thank you so much for all you're doing for this. And now you know you can see who the man is that made it so pretty. So, thank you, hon. Love you. Love you.